Welcome to this episode of Air Wool. Wait, um, sorry, um, uh, I was too deep entrenched in the episode's topic, Air Wolf, but welcome to this episode of Retro Cork. Uh, and now that I'm thinking about it, does it mean that I have to portray every character in the show? <laughs> Airwolf was a TV series in the early to mid 80s about a helicopter with an additional jet drive and futuristic weaponry. If this kind of feels familiar and might maybe it reminds you of uh, Blue Thunder, yeah, it often feels like that was uh, the inspiration behind the show. Another inspiration was probably, hey, computers are cool now, which they weren't until the internet became widely accessible. Enough about that, though, uh, let's talk about the game. Namely, the Yeowulf game for the Commodore 64 made by the folks at Elite in 1985. It's a multi-scrolling shoot-em-up, where multi-scrolling just means that it can be going up and down as well as to the sides. Your objective in this game is to go into the cave system where there are five hostages. Retrieve them one by one, meaning that between every single hostage you need to return to base. Besides the hostages, you have to shoot everyone else in order to not die in this game. The helicopter airwolf is constantly pulled to the ground, uh, thanks to gravity, so you have to go and give it a bit of a lift every now and then to make sure it stays above the ground and does not crash into it. You can fire both forwards as well as downwards and uh, there is an auto fire mode if you keep the fire button pressed so that's good about the game. However, I personally have found this game to be a bit frustrating at times and not even the airwolf theme that goes on and on and on in the background could keep me happy. The controls felt a bit too, for lack of a better word, finicky on the Commodore 64 and hitting a rock means you lose a life and that happened quite often. Uh, some other obstacles, however, merely cost you a bit of your shield. And then there was the sequel. Yes, a lot of people were apparently not aware that there was a sequel, namely Airwolf 2, which, uh, it's a generic side-scrolling shooter, though it goes from right to left, unlike most side-scrollers of the day, um, with an Airwolf logo just put onto it and, uh, well, the chopper's uh, the same, but still. Airwolf 2 was created by Hitpack in... 1987, two years after the other one, and the only person who worked on both projects was the musician Mark Cooksey. People have compared the original Airwolf game to Ford Apocalypse, but the second game, yeah, I couldn't find any specific game this was uh, compared to, probably because it's very unoriginal and uh, has a lackluster feeling to it because it's... Ooh, aliens! And that's it for Airwolf Games for the Commodore 64. Okay, next time? Next time we'll look at aircraft. Though I'm not going to cover a specific flight simulator or uh, flight simulators at all. Instead, I'll look at probably the best known air traffic controller simulation game of that day, of its day, Kennedy Approach. <laughs>